This one I'm about to show you had a lot of weak spots and things that would go wrong. And not because of the N8N, just because of things like APIs we were using would be 500 or whatever. I had to handle error in a couple ways and I wanted to show you three things. One is when you have anything that's doing a, a request, and sorry about the typo there, you can add this error pathway. So by default, you just have success. But if you go into most nodes, you can say, what was this guy? You can say continue, but make an error output because you don't want it to stop. And this is a big deal because like you might have a loop in that loop, and I'll show you a loop after, but in that loop, it would stop and, and, and your whole thing would be done. Um, but you don't want uh, something to stop just because one thing in the loop stopped. You want to maybe catch that error or just go on, depending on what you're working on. So in this case, I say continue using error output. And when I do that, I get this. And then over here, it decides, it, it doesn't decide, I then make it go to Slack to then trigger an error. Now, if there's an uncaught error, we have our settings here that will call to my error workflow. This is how we kept finding these errors. Oh, I never thought Firecrawl would fail, and it did. I never thought this other thing wouldn't work, whatever it is, and it did. And so we get these errors, and we go back to the template, and we add them. So now you have all these pathways out, like, oh, your LLM didn't structure the data output well, so it failed. No big deal. Let's output it and then let the API that was making the request know we had an error and, and come track it and fix it. So you have errors that can be, when you don't catch them, go to that Slack or whatever, to another workflow, which is pretty crazy, right? 